Mara bala bushila ba kanta ra bushila ba yetele bushila ba yetele bushila. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that you granted us once again to come to your throne room of grace. You said in your word, Lord, that when we ask, we shall receive. When we knock, the door shall be open. And when we seek, we shall find. Father, we come boldly to a throne room of grace at such a time like this, Lord, to obtain mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Shalom, shalom. I greet you all in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I welcome all the members of Colonial House of Fire Ministries, all the prayer partners, all the financial partners, all the friends, and everybody who is under the sound of my voice. I welcome you for a time of prayer. Before we pray, I want us to read the word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Remember, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So please turn with me in your Bibles in the book of James chapter 5. We are going to read verse number 13. The first part says this. Is anyone among you sick or suffering? Let him pray. Verse 16, part B. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours. And he prayed earnestly that it could not rain and it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth produced its fruit. Hallelujah. There is power in prayer. Prayer is not a religious exercise. Prayer is the vehicle that releases the grace of God upon a situation. The word of God says that men ought always to pray. We need to pray all the time. The Apostle Paul continues to say that we need to pray without ceasing. In the portion of scripture that we have read, the Bible records that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. And scripture continues to say that Elijah was a man like you and me. He prayed and there was no rain. He prayed again and there was rain. Church, I want to submit to you that the God that we serve is a God that changes not. He is the same yesterday, he is the same today, and he is the same forevermore. If this God we are talking about answered Elijah, he is going to answer you and me at such a time like this. There is no any other time that we've needed God more than now. We are living in a time where everybody is looking for solutions. There is a global pandemic everywhere. Many people have lost hope. We are losing so many people. People have died globally. That is not the will of God. I believe with all of my heart that if we join together in prayer, God is able to turn this situation around. Looking at what Elijah did in his time and understanding that the God that he served is not a man that he should lie. I believe with all of my heart that if we join our faith 
If two agree concerning something in prayer, it shall be done to them in Jesus' mighty name. Now the Bible says, Elijah was a man like you and me. He prayed and there was no rain. He prayed again and there was rain. This portion of scripture does not explain to us exactly what took place. So allow me to go back to the whole story that is found in the book of 1 Kings chapter 17 verse number 1. And I quote, the Bible says, reading from the Amplified Version, Elijah the Tishbite from the temporary residence of Gilead said to Ahab, as the Lord, the God of Israel lives before whom I stand, there shall be no dew, there shall be no rain except by my word. Now, why did Elijah speak such harsh words to God's people? It's because they had turned away from worshipping the true and the living God. When Ahab became king, he started worshipping Baal. And he did more evil than his forefathers. So it provoked the anger of God and God closed the heavens. So he sent his servant Elijah and told him, Go speak to Ahab and tell him, There shall be no dew, there shall be no rain. We are living in a time that is, there is global catastrophe. There is global pandemic. There is sickness. There is disease. There is poverty. There is famine. And many people are running left and right. They don't know what to do next. I've come here with a message of hope to you. That God is able to change this story. God is able to change this situation. How is he going to do it? Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse number 14. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, turn away from their wicked ways, seek my face and pray, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. Church, wherever you are, I want you to join me in a prayer let's join our faith together and let us pray let us ask god for mercy remember a broken and a contract spirit god will not despise let us pray father in the mighty name of jesus i touch and agree together with my brothers in the name that is above every other names you say in your word that if your people who are called by your name shall humble themselves, turn away from their wicked ways, seek your face and pray, then you will hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. Lord God Almighty, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you for mercy. We ask you, oh God, for forgiveness. Remember mercy, oh my Father. Where you have sinned against you, Lord, we pray for mercy. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask you, my loving Father, for divine intervention, oh God. You are a prayer answering God. You are merciful. You said in your word that your steadfast love never ceases. Your mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. And great is your faithfulness, oh God. Heavenly Father, we pray. We pray, oh God, oh Lord, for mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive us of our sins, oh Lord. Forgive us of our iniquity, Father. Forgive us, oh God, of our transgression, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, my Father, remember mercy, oh God. Deliver us, oh my Father, from this global pandemic, Lord. Deliver us, oh my Father, from these viruses, oh Lord. Deliver us, oh God, from this sickness, oh my Father. Lord, we pray for the families that have been bereaved. 
we ask you, my Father, to comfort them, my God. You said in your holy word that affliction shall not arise a second time. My God and my Father, we pray for mercy that you have this affliction will not arise a second time in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for mercy. We cover every member of Kononia by the blood of Jesus. We cover our families by the blood of Jesus. We cover our children by the blood of Jesus. We cover our relatives, Lord, by the blood of Jesus. You said in your word, O oh my Father, that by the cleanness of our hands, O oh Lord God, even them that are not pure, they are going to be delivered in the name of Jesus. My God and my Father, we declare and decree that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. So Lord, we pray for mercy. We pray, my God, for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Let us continue. So the Bible records that Elijah was a man like you and me. He prayed and there was no rain. He prayed again and there was rain. Let us pray for the government of South Africa. Let us pray for them that are in the decision-making board. Let us pray for wisdom. Let us pray for protection. Let us pray that God may knit them together, that they may work together in unison so that this global pandemic that has also affected this nation can be halted in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, and I bless you. I agree together with my brothers, oh God, the members of Colonial House of Fire Ministries, as we lift up this nation to your hands, oh God. We lift up the president, oh God, President Cyril Ramaphosa, my father. We lift up, oh God, the vice president. We lift up, oh God, the members of parliament. We lift up, oh God, the doctors. We lift up, oh God, the security forces, my father. We commit them to your throne of grace, oh God. We ask you, Father God, for wisdom. We ask you, Father God, for protection, my God, upon their lives, my father. Even, Lord, as a spearhead, oh God, as a spearhead, my father, Lord God Almighty, a change in this nation, oh God, to deal with this, to deal with this sickness, oh my father. We pray, oh God, may you give them resources. May you give them wisdom, oh God. May you preserve and protect them, my Father, in the name that is above every other name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want us to pray. I want us to pray for the doctors, the nurses, them that are involved in taking care of the vulnerable, of the sick in the community, that God may use them to extend his healing in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, once again, we pray for the doctors. We pray, oh God Almighty, for the nurses. We pray, my God and my loving Father, for them that are taking care of the elderly, for them that are taking care of the sick. My God and my Father, may you preserve them. May you protect them, Lord. May you shield them, O oh Father, in the name that is above every other name. Give them grace, O oh Lord. Give them strength, O oh my Father. Give them wisdom, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they may not grow weary, my Father. Lord God Almighty, strengthen them, O oh Lord. Bless them, my Father. Preserve and protect them, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I want us to pray now for them that don't have resources. I want us to pray for them that are poor. I want us to pray for the elderly. I want, to, I want us to pray for them that need provision, even at such a time as this, where there is lockdown nationwide. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are the owner of the silver and gold. Heavenly Father, I pray, as I agree together with my brothers and sisters, Lord God Almighty, 
I pray for resources, O oh Lord. May you release, O oh God, resources to the poor, to the elderly, Father, to them that are vulnerable, Lord, to the homeless, my Father. Keep them and preserve them, Lord. Supply their needs according to your riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord God, as I agree together with my brothers in Kononia House of Fire Ministries, as we pray for South Africa, as we pray for Africa, as we pray, oh God, for the entire globe, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you arise, oh my Father, in Jesus' mighty name, and let all our enemies be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Lastly, I want us to pray that this situation may not take us under but we will emerge stronger we will emerge more powerful we will emerge wiser in jesus mighty name father i pray lord god that even after this situation lord, after this pandemic my father that will become stronger that will become wiser that lord god will understand even things better in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray, you said in the word, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Lord God Almighty, we declare and decree that though we are walking through the valley of shadow of death, we shall fear no evil because you are together with us. Father, I thank you and I bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.